We are here in Nablus, Palestine, with the organizer of the Kufr Kadum demonstrations, weekly demonstrations, Murad Mahava. Ahlan, ahlan. Um, Murad, and your last name, Ishta? Ishtawi. Ishtawi. Yes. Ah, okay, now I know the correct pronunciation because I only see <laughs> yes, your name uh, printed. Yes. But uh, we have a very uh, serious uh, report to make uh, to the general public uh, internationally about how the demonstrators at Kufr Kadum are treated. Even though you have a court decision giving you access to the highway uh, at, the, uh, village, at the end of the village road, you are nonetheless stopped from making use of that highway by the soldiers every week when there is a demonstration to gain access to that highway. And I understand that the military repression of your demonstration is increasing and we have an example here of your son who was shot. What happened at that time? Uh, first of all, thank you for, uh, very much for your, this interview, which I think focus about uh, the way that the Israeli occupation army treated the demonstration of uh, Kafir Kadum. I think there's uh, many demonstrations all over West Bank, but uh, the way that the Israeli occupation army uh, practice or deal with the protesters in Kafir Kadum, I think it's uh, different. Uh, since uh, two last years, uh, the, uh, the, the Israeli army began to heighten their escalation against the protesters by using uh, intensive shooting of uh, live uh, ammunition. Uh, they didn't make a difference between uh, a child or a young or uh, an adult or old men. All the generations were targeted and shot with live ammunition. We have 85 persons shoot with live uh, six of them uh, in the upper parts, and we have 11 of them from children under 15. One of these victims was uh, my child who was shot in March 2016. Uh, at that date, the uh, demonstration go as usual, uh, without any kind of facing of the, of the army. We didn't see soldiers, so Khalid, my son of 12 years old, tried to show his friends that he's a brave boy. Because no soldiers, he make he uh, walk uh, in front of the demonstration. Suddenly, uh, dozens of Israeli occupation army and uh, Israeli police uh, appeared from an ambush and began to shoot live without any kind of violence, no throwing stones, no burning tires. Khaled tried to escape from this uh, violence, but he uh, didn't succeed. One of the snipers shot him in the right thigh causing a complicated fracture according to the opinion of the doctors in Rafidi Hospital in Nablus. This means that Khaled must made surgical in his thigh in order to fix the bone by fixing uh, two uh, platin pipes in his bone in order to make it uh, well as before. But till now, he is under medicine because he has a, a, his, his right leg is shorter than the left with uh, three centimeters. Uh, targeting uh, children is uh, the new policy that the Israeli occupation army tried to, uh, uh, to use uh, it. Uh, and the 23rd of December 2016, the same bad experience with my son, a uh, woman of seven years. He also fell down in an Israeli occupation army ambush. Uh, he didn't see soldiers the same as experience of Khalid, he didn't see soldiers. He also uh, walked in the front of the demonstration, but suddenly nine soldiers uh, from the special forces in Israeli occupation army uh, stood up from an ambush under the ground and all of them follow movement and detained him, detained him for a few minutes. This few minutes for me uh, was the second uh, bad uh, experience. The first was with Khalid when I saw Khalid crying and shouting, please help me, help me, but I couldn't do anything for him because they were uh, intensive shooting of live bullets. And the other bad experience was with uh, Mu'min, uh, my uh, little son also, uh, uh, I, didn't do any, I, I couldn't do anything uh, for, for him. Uh, in this strategy, exactly by heightening their collective punishment against the people in Kafir Kadum, 
we decide to make the demonstration two days instead of one day. It began on Friday only, but now on Friday and Saturday because we want to send a message for the Israeli occupation army that whatever you practice of violence against the peaceful protesters, I think never gave up and this will not make the demonstration down. Now we are calling for very simple humanity rights using our roads free and reaching our uh, fields free against the uh, settlement, against of the expanding of the Domim settlement which forced itself on the lands of uh, Kafr Khatoum. Now uh, we have the decision, the military decision to open the road, but we know that the Israeli occupation army fell now under the pressure of the settlers who live in the Domim settlement to let them steal and expand from our lands without any uh, price. So we, they want to steal the land without any price. The name of the settlement is Kadunim? Kadumim. 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 It's very mm. important to focus on the name. You know Kafr Kadum is, uh, means the ancient village. We talk about hundreds of years ago in the history, before Kadumim for itself and for occupation. You mean thousands of years? Thousands, thousands of years, yes, but now when occupation forced himself itself on our land, they stole the history, they stole the name of Kafr Kadum and put it on Kadumim settlement. This is the false history of Kadumim, the false history of occupation. Oh, so they just took the same name and made it into Hebrew? Yes, yes, they took the Palestinian name and translated it into Hebrew. What lands are the uh is this uh, colony of Kudumim uh, situated on? Is this uh, on uh, private lands? Yes, uh, uh, the whole area of Kafr Kadum is 24,000 dunams. Kudumim settlement stole 4,000 from the special lands from the people who own it from Kafr Kadum. So why are they not expelled as the uh, settlers in uh, 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 um, Adoma uh, now being ex expelled? Uh, you know, they try to do everything in order to steal and to expand their settlement, but I think the peaceful protest that we uh, organized since 2011 stopped them from doing like this. Yes, but why is not uh, the, uh, the settlement of Adumim uh, expelled as the uh, settlement of uh, Amona is now being expelled under a Supreme Court order? I don't know why, because uh, Kudumim began uh, one of the ancient, one of the old, uh, the oldest uh, settlements in West Bank since two th uh, since 1978, and began and um, became now uh, one of the biggest settlements in West Bank. Five points, three thousand from the settlers uh, live in this uh, settlement. I think uh, uh, the, the decision belonged to the Israeli army. Uh, to do like this, but we know that all the settlements, all the settlements in West Bank, are uh, built, uh, forced itself on private lands, mm. not only Kadumim. Mm -hmm. All the settlements in West Bank. Mm. So, um, how can the military ignore the court order that gives your village access through your own road down to the highway, that is, uh, you know, the only uh, main access road to uh, arrive at uh, cities like Nablus here? The person who has the decision of closing the road is the same person that who has the power to make the road closed against the Palestinians. Uh, the person who uh, ignore everything. The, the same person who ignore the international agreements all over the uh, the world, which is the stand up, which stand uh, beside the Palestinian rights. I think they have the power and they have the decision. So we, who, the person who has the power also has the decision. Who is this person? Israeli occupation. Ah. Now, how can they ignore their own legal decision of an Israeli because court? Because occupation is illegal. Ah. And this is so, a demonstration of how the occupation is yes, illegal. Yes, they consider it illegal demonstration. I don't know, I can't imagine how can the victim, the Palestinians, have the permission to organize legal demonstrations from illegal occupation. Mm -hmm. I think it will not work. Yes, so the demonstration is treated as illegal when in fact it is the village 
the, uh, the Zionist uh, village, the uh, colony, which is illegal, and it is the uh, military which is carrying out an illegal repression of a, a le legitimate demonstration, which is seeking to implement a legal decision from an Israeli court. Yes, everything illegal. Yes. They want the demonstration legal. Ah. They didn't want demonstration because they, they, they want to be uh, uh, cheap, cheap occupation. Uh -huh. uh, the mean of demonstrations all over the West Bank is to make the opposite. To make the occupation pay the price. Instead of paying cheap occupation, he will be expensive occupation. To feel that leaving the land is better for him to stay in the land that didn't own it. Yes. Uh -huh. So this is the world turned upside down. Yes. Hmm.